Welcome back. This is In Focus. Now, Wednesday is World Malaria Day, and global initiatives to combat malaria have been ongoing for many years. Observers say these efforts have been positive. Nothing But Nets is a campaign by the United Nations Foundation to help provide insecticide-treated bed nets to populations affected by malaria. Health reporter Lino Madu recently discussed the program with Chris Helfrich, the director of Nothing But Nets. Nothing But Nets is a global grassroots campaign to end deaths from malaria. And we do that by engaging the American and global public to send nets and save lives. Tell us about these nets that you are distributing. Where do they come from? These nets uh, come from manufacturers that are, that are all over the world. But uh, they're these $10 life-saving bed nets. So a family of up to four can sleep under these nets. And these nets work in two different ways. Uh, first, the net provides a barrier so that the mosquito can't get to you. The other way that a net is effective is because it's treated. Uh, there's insecticide woven in. And so when a mosquito lands on the net, it dies, which keeps the person sleeping next to you who might not be under a net safe. I know you are uh, working on a campaign in Sudan. Tell us about that to, to help uh, refugees. Yeah, so in honor of World Malaria Day on April 25th, we have launched an appeal to help, uh, to help out with the humanitarian crisis happening right now uh, in Sudan. And so we've asked our supporters uh, worldwide to help us send 100,000 of these life-saving nets to help refugees in Sudan. So since last June, over 130,000 people have had to flee violence on the Sudan and South Sudan border. And so we're trying to make sure that every single one of those refugees is safe from malaria, which in South Sudan is the number one killer of children under the age of five. From uh, either getting the funding or making the nets to the person in the village receiving the net, sure. what is the, the cycle? The cycle is that we work with our UN partners who work with local governments and health agencies to identify the area of greatest need. And so then we will commit to try to raise the funds necessary to fill that need. So in the instance of South Sudan, there's a great and urgent need. And so what we're doing is we're going out to our networks. We have hundreds of thousands of Americans who have engaged with nothing but nets to send nets and save lives. And we're counting on them to help us raise the money necessary to send those 100,000 nets to South Sudan. What are some of the countries in Africa that you were able to distribute the nets? Nothing but nets. Over the last five years, we've raised over $40 million to send more than 6 million nets to over 25 African countries. So just in the last year, we've distributed nets in Cameroon. We helped respond to the crisis in the Horn of Africa with our partners at UNHCR. Uh, we sent nets to save lives in Guinea-Bissau and in the Central African Republic. The average lifespan of a mosquito net is said to be three to five years. At the end of those three to five years, we work to replace those nets. What is your take on the state of malaria today? Well, I think we're making great progress. We're chasing the Millennium Development Goal that says we want to end mal malaria deaths by 2015. And over the last five to ten years, we've seen a sharp decline uh, in malaria cases and malaria deaths due in large part uh, to, the, to the great use of these long-lasting insecticide-treated bed nets. Every report that we get says that when people have access to nets, they use them. And when people use nets, when use of nets are widespread, then malaria transmission rates go down up to 90%. So the statistics are in our favor. It's truly an amazing simple campaign. Do you think that considering 90% uh, of the rates can go down with the use of a net, do you think nets can be uh, one effective way alone to controlling malaria? Nets are a simple and cost-effective way to, to combat malaria, but we also advocate for indoor residual spraying as well as access, quick access to medicine for those who, who are affected. So. Uh, these nets are, are, are a great tool, but they're part of, they're part of, a larger, uh, part of the larger puzzle. Okay. In terms of um, reaching the Millennium Development Goals with regards to fighting malaria, how do you foresee that? It's a tough challenge, but we're making great progress, so we remain incredibly optimistic. 
When we started this campaign in 2006, a child was dying every 30 seconds from malaria. A recent report that came out in November says that a child is now dying every 60 seconds. So we've cut transmission of this disease and deaths from malaria by almost half. And so if we can make that progress in five years, then I'm confident that we can make even better progress in the next five years. That's the director of Nothing But Nets, Chris Helfrich, speaking with uh, our Lino Madu. Now, as of today, enough funds have been raised to distribute more than 6.4 million bed nets to African families.